Hi friends, this is Neil from wishfulfill.com, the best place for open source software. In this video, we will see how to configure your BIOS for booting a Linux installation medium. This video guide is based on our years of experience in Linux system installations. We will provide you step by step details so that any non technical person can also easily follow through. Now, without wasting much time, let's get started. The issue of booting your Linux installation medium occurs only on some systems which are pre-installed with Windows and has the Windows sticker like you can see in this example. As you can see, this particular laptop has got the Windows sticker. Microsoft has kind of locked the uh, system so that any non-Microsoft operating system cannot be installed directly unless and until the system settings are changed. So in this video, we will see how to make those changes so that you can install your favorite Linux distro. The errors that you see with when this particular situation arises look something like this. Secure boot violation. The system found unauthorized changes on the firmware operating system or UEFI drivers. Press OK to run the next boot device or enter directly to the BIOS setup. So something like this or you might see something like this, image failed to verify, press any key to continue, boot failure, a proper digital signature was not found. These are the kind of error messages that you might see. It, all, it is also possible that you might not see any error message and you just cannot, your computer just cannot detect the pen drive. And in that case also this particular solution that we will be mentioning in the video will help you. So to solve all these problems, do not worry, there is a very simple solution. You just have to make three changes in the BIOS settings. These three changes are disabling secure boot, enabling legacy BIOS boot or it's sometimes also called CISM boot, settings uh, installation medium to the highest boot priority. So let us start. So step one of this is to open the BIOS settings. So to open the BIOS settings, you have to press a particular key when the computer is just starting up. So this particular key varies from model to model, brand to brand, and it can be several keys, F1, F2, delete, or combination of keys also. So to make things simple for you, what we have done is we have on our website, we have listed out several keys that are used by most computer manufacturers and motherboard makers. So you can check that link. It's given in the video description. We'll also be providing example images of some major system man manufacturers so that it will become very easy for you to find the particular key for your system. So the first um, way to find out the key is to simply check on the flash boot splash screen. So as soon as you turn on your computer, there is a splash screen that shows the logo of the computer manufacturer. It's sometimes at the bottom or sometimes at the top, depends. You will find a key to enter in your BIOS settings. Let us see some examples. This is for an Acer laptop. You can see over here on the bottom left corner, it says press F2 to go into setup. So for this particular Acer laptop, you have to press F2 to enter the BIOS settings. Similarly for Asus, in the bottom center, you can see delete or F2. A Dell, at the top right corner, F2. Again a Dell, F2. At the bottom right corner, you can see over here, it's saying press F2. Over here you can see at the left hand corner F9, Samsung, here F2, Lenovo, delete key to enter setup, F2 Intel, Gigabyte, motherboard manufacturer, delete for entering bar setup, MSI, delete for entering the setup, another MSI system. Again, delete for entering BIOS setup. So once you are in the BIOS setup or BIOS settings, you will have to find the navigation keys which will allow you to navigate through the different sections. So the navigation keys are again varies from system to system. So we'll just quickly go through the major manufacturers and see what all navigation keys are there. 
you can check out our blog for more details so this is for an Acer and you can see at the bottom it mentions all the navigation shortcut keys and navigation keys so you can use the arrow keys and the F1, F5, F5, F6 to change the values so these are all navigation and shortcut keys also you can see the user interface the BIOS setup is divided in multiple sections information, main, security, boot and exit we will be going through the boot section and exit section and sometimes also the security section this is for an Asus laptop again different sections main advanced boot security save and exit and for the navigation you can see at the right hand corner here enter to select arrow keys to select screen to go to different sections and use the arrow key plus and minus key to change the value F10 to save, escape to exit. This is for a Dell laptop, Dell Inspiron N5010. And again, you can see at the bottom there are different navigation keys and shortcut keys mentioned. Sections are not clearly visible, but there are other sections also. And again, this is for a gigabyte motherboard. The navigation keys are mentioned below plus minus to change value, F10 to save, escape, move to change the values, arrow keys and this is for an HP, you can see at the right corner this is for an Intel, again you can see the navigation keys over here Lenovo at the bottom, you can see the navigation keys, again the different sections, security, boot, exit so this is for MSI, this is of a more latest version of the MSI system, Samsung at the bottom, different section you can see advanced security boot exit. So once you are aware of the various sections in your BIOS and how to navigate through them and what all the shortcut keys are available, now go through the thing that we have to change. Mainly we have to do three things that we have already mentioned before. Uh, we have to disable secure boot and we have to change the boot mode so in this step we will see how to disable secure boot and change boot mode so you have to use the navigation key that we just saw to perform these two changes the particular term that I am mentioning here secure boot and boot mode might vary from system to system like for example secure boot might be named differently boot mode can be like boot mode or boot type and the op value that you have to choose can vary from BIOS, legacy or CSM so by system to system it changes a bit so let us go through the examples this is for an Acer you have to go to the boot section to change the two settings and under the boot mode you have to make sure that this UEFI is changed to legacy and in secure boot you have to change the enable to disable and the navigation key you will be able to see over here it's not in the picture but you will be able to see over here and for an Asus laptop in this particular bus this is a very simple bus you have, you have a mouse access it and this is a simple drop down so you just have to go to your mouse and click and to change the value so this is again under the boot section and you will have a boot slash secure boot, secure boot state, you have to disable it. This is for an Asus laptop. Here again under the boot section, uh, secure boot state enabled, you have to make it disabled. Now this is for a Dell system, secure boot control under the boot section, secure boot control is again enabled, you have to disable it. Here boot mode is there, you have to change the boot mode from UEFI to legacy, secure boot you have to disable it, this is for an HP system, this is again from an HP system but of a different um, BIOS version, so this has particular drop down menu under security menu. You have to go down and select secure boot configuration to disable secure boot and this is for HP boot mode you have to change from UEFI to legacy BIOS and secure boot you have to make it disabled. 
this is for to Toshiba system so here the boot mode you mentioned is CSM boot you have to ensure it is CSM boot and not UFI boot this is for a Samsung system UFI boot support enabled has to be disabled this is again a Samsung system again this BIOS allows mouse control so it will be easy to navigate secure boot you just have to make sure it is off OS mode selection is again uh, CSM okay after you have made those two changes that is disabling secure boot and enabling legacy or BIOS boot now let's head on to the last setting that you have to change that is you have to change the boot priority this will ensure that the system will firstly check your installation medium for booting before going to your hard drive so to make these changes you have to go to your boot section or sometimes it is also present in the advanced section you'll find the boot order list which will list out all your boot mediums present currently detected by a system USB drive, uh, DVD, hard disks etc so all those storage mediums will be listed down and depending on the order of the listing the topmost would be given the highest priority so you, you have to make sure that your particular installation medium reaches to the top of the list so we'll see some examples for that this is for an Acer system and you can see the boot priority listed in the boot section and over here at present the hard disk is given the highest priority followed by the CD-ROM drive so you have to ensure if you are booting from a CD-ROM CD-ROM should be at the top and for making those changes the keys are mentioned over here in the right hand corner similarly for an ASUS system the, under the boot section the boot options priorities boot option 1 boot option 2 so in this you have to select that particular boot option 1 and make sure that your installation medium is there at this at the top that is the boot option 1 and this is a Dell so under the boot section the first boot priority should be your installation medium and this is for a gigabyte system you go to your boot section change the boot option 1 to your installation medium so this is for an HP system you can see here the boot order is mentioned UFI boot order ensure that your installation medium either your DVD room or your pen drive or USB hard disk whatever is your installation medium is at the top and this is for a Toshiba laptop under the boot section the first boot device should be your installation medium so after you have made all those three changes the last step is to save it and exit from the BIOS so to do that you have to find the exit section or the shortcut key for saving and exiting your BIOS setup when we were uh, seeing the navigation section you must have found that there were shortcut keys for save and exit so you can either press those or you can navigate to the exit section and select the save changes and exit option so we will see a couple of examples for the same this is for an ASUS laptop you will just have to press F10 to save it and then escape key it will ask you to confirm your changes click on yes and this is for a Dell laptop you can see over here save and exit setup is mentioned just click on that and it will ask you to confirm your action and then your setting will be saved and your system will reboot this is for a gigabyte motherboard again the same thing the shortcut key is for save and exit press that and it will ask you to confirm your actions press yes and then proceed further and similarly over here this is for an HP system under the file menu click on files save changes and exit option confirm yes and proceed here for again for a different version of a BIOS for a HP system under the exit section navigate to the exit section and then under exit options select save changes and exit this is for Toshiba there is a save and exit section go to that section and click on save changes and reset after performing the above mentioned steps your installation medium should get detected and boot properly i hope this video guide helped you if yes smack that like button if you are interested in open source software 
like Linux, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be providing you with contents like installation and troubleshooting guides, reviews, tips and tricks and much more. Just click the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon. This will ensure that you get regular updates from us. If you think this video could be useful to your friends and family, share it with them. We also distribute open source software via pen drives and DVDs. If you are interested, you can check out our store at wishfulfill.com. We have got beautiful on-disk printed DVDs and multi-boot pen drives of your favorite Linux distros. Thanks for watching friends. See you later. Bye.